Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been wanting to do this study for a little while. And first, well, let me start. Before anybody starts with the, it's windy, get yourself some better microphone equipment. Man, I filmed this on the water. That's where we do the studies, is on the water. It's where we do all the tests, is on the water. It's where I learn and pass along the information I learn on the water. I ain't got time to hook up all these different microphones. Uh, you can hear it. I promise you, I listen to everything before I get it out. There are times when the wind gets a little rough, but one of the things that I see a lot people talk about is, you know, when the people are having trouble seeing this, I see it all the time, still to this day, almost three years later. You got to click it up one. Click your transducer up one. It's going to give you a better picture. So before I do the test, I'm going to shoot the intro. I don't think that it's gonna give you a better picture. If you've got your transducer, say a foot and a half into the water, it probably enters, the, the top beam probably enters the water, it gets to the point where it intersects the top 12, 13 feet, maybe 14 feet, somewhere in that area. Um, so that 10 to 12 foot, you may lose a sliver of water clog from zero to 12 foot. If, uh, so clicking it up may give you that little sliver of water column. I can see that. Um, but does it give you a better picture? We're not going to debate the whether or not you it give you know you get to see all the water column. We're, we're debating at this point in time, does it give you a better picture? Now, I get a lot of criticism at times. People say, well, you do only do your test for bass fishing. So what I have is I'm going to do a test for bass fishing first. I'm gonna throw two or three casts, and then I'm gonna throw two or three casts with it, one click up. Then I'm gonna do the crappie, two or three casts, and then I'm gonna do two or three casts, one click up. And I'm gonna separate those for you. And we're gonna see, does the pitcher. Now I'm in open water, there's nothing in front of me. So this is gonna be mostly, does the image show up better? Does the, the does the jig show up better? So it's probably not going to be an exact test because I don't, there's no such thing as an exact science in these tests. But we'll find out whether or not that one click actually does something. So let's go right now. All right. It's noted that we're not talking about whether or not this is going to increase visibility of the jig hitting the water. Totally different conversation. Totally different test. Right here, we're simply talking about does it make a bit better picture. I'm using 2.74 unit software, uh, doing some testing on that, but I'm still using 2.57 on the box. Now, I think this picture is amazing. It's rusted steel. It's probably my favorite color to use all around. I, I use it a lot, yeah, except when I'm crappie fishing, but I don't do a ton of crappie fishing. But this is what I would consider a really good picture. Very good, uh, you know, very good clarity here. I don't see any pixelation too much. It, it To me, that's an overall great picture. Now this is one click up. And I want you to notice where that bait splashed the water. A lot of pixelation. And it also notes that if you do click it up, you're either gonna have to recalibrate or adjust your pitch manually because it will be uh, skewed somewhat. But I want you to notice all the stumps, the bottom, everything has a pixelation to it. I don't know if that's a, it, it happened on the, uh, I, I don't know why that happened. I don't know if what that that's a result of, but I noticed a pixelation. To me, the picture actually got worse by clicking it up. Um, I'd have to have somebody way smarter than me tell me what that is. But I just, I did not see as good a picture or, uh, you know, I, I have no idea why that is. But here we go with a cropping. Now, this is a Roadrunner. Um, I set it on about, you know, 30 feet, which what I consider about normal. Uh, Roadrunner looks good. Um, I, I would think the stumps look good. Got pretty good detail there. Um, I, I don't have any problem with this picture. I'd be real happy with this picture at all times. And I did about three casts with each. So it looks good coming through the water. Um, but I have no problem with this. But I want you to notice just as soon as we click over, let me get through with this cast. I think the pixelation problems um, pop back again. Is that a result of the 2.74 unit uh, update? I don't know. Now, this is the last cast right here with um, 
last cast with it set of what I would consider proper Garmin orientation. Now we're finna click it up one click. Now I want you to watch the difference. Look at the difference in the stumps. Look at the difference in the bottom. Um, and you can actually see to me, the vape has some pixelation in it. Definitely picking up the surface clutter leaves uh, so on the on the surface better um, a lot more surface artifact up there now that can be adjusted in a couple different ways we can set our uh, we can get rid of that that's not a problem but I just noticed the pixelation like here's a fish swimming right here and, and he, he has that like a pixelated look to him um, so I don't know if that's result of the one click up or it could be result of the software unit um, software in the unit I'm using but to me I don't see a noticeable improvement. Actually, I see a decrease in uh, uh, image quality by clicking it up, up one. Um, some people may have other results, but I definitely do not see it. Look at that pixelation where that bait's coming back. Uh, I just do not see an improvement. I would not suggest this to anyone. I never have suggested one click up. Look at the splash right there. Look at the pixelation on that. Now, is that a reflection problem where the, the beams were reflecting off the surface? And it very well could be, but I don't see an improvement by clicking up. All right, guys. I think personally, the answer is definitive. One click up does not result in a better picture. I'm seeing a couple things. First of all, it didn't, I was making the cast, I know how far to cast the baits. I'm really good at kidding my numbers when I cast. Um, not gonna be perfect, no way's gonna be perfect. But one thing I noticed was my distances were off. It seemed like I was making the same 20 foot, 25 foot cast and casting off of the grid, off of the 30 foot grid, especially on the crappie baits. Um, even on the A-Rig, same thing, seemed like my distance was off. Like I'd cast it 40 feet, and it's off the screen then coming back in that's something to note it secondly and i want you to notice this a lot on the crappie baits which will be the second the, which is the second set a lot of pixelation now i am uh trying something on this right on this unit right here so i'm in the middle of two tests at the same time but i didn't notice it on the first ones uh, the first set, but when I angled it up, I noticed a lot more pixelation of the baits and everything like that. It's kind of a strange, uh, strange. it could be just a strange coincidence. It could be anything. What I've done is I've got 2.57 on the boxes still, and I've got the, what is it, the 34? Yeah, the 34 for the uh, GPS map units. Trying to see if, the, if it's the combination of the boxes and the software on the units or it's a combination of both or if it's particular to each one and i do think it's a combination of both being the 2.57 and the um 20 to 26 and the 2.57 being the best but the 34 uh slash 2.74 i think there's some problems in both of those um software updates but what i noticed was lots of pixelation when you do the one click up. You guys tell me what you think. Put it down in the comments below. Uh, and if you have some other tests you would like me to try, let me know on that also. But um, as far as the test on the on the, two, the 34 um, slash 2.57, which is a weird combination, it's an older black box com, uh, software, but the brand new software on the, on the unit, I'm still a big fan of the 26 and the 27 versions and the 2.57 and 2.58 i think those are the two best black boxes that i have seen so far i could fish with the other ones but i just love the um i love the returns on those and i love the fact that the you'll notice even just a little bit the stair stepped bottom on this test and i think that's a direct result of the 34 software update um, it seems to be more prevalent when you have the 2.74 on there but you guys tell me what you're doing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. This is a little bit longer video, but this is what you guys wanted to see. Ring the bell.